Welcome to episode three of the Accidental Art Journal, where we're making marvelous out of the discarded, out of the leftovers. We started with a dollar store composition book. In today's episode, we are going to add to three pages. We are going to break four new pages and finish two art journal pages. So I recently made this cute penguin card and I had an extra penguin because I didn't know if I need it. I also had some tissue paper from the burnt napkin activity. So when I have a focal image, I am grabbing my book and just flipping through the pages and auditioning each one. Now this one looks like it is a perfect fit as I kind of like the red background as well and the vintage one. But I know that I'm going to have to glue this down onto copy paper because I don't want whatever background I use to show through and you can see how it's going to show through. So I'm going to glue that down and then we're going to get on with adding to this accidental art journal. So whenever I get, you know, a pile of discarded stuff, leftovers, on my desk, I'm going to grab my accidental art journal and add to it. Flip through and see. So I have this tissue paper. I also have some leftover paint here. So I'm not sure where I want the tissue paper. So I will defer that decision to later. And I'm going to add this alizarin crimson to this page. I've got some stamp or some stenciling with black and I've got some modeling paste on here. There's lots of texture, there's lots of pattern on here, which is why I decided that I don't want to add that scroll work um, tissue paper. Too much, too much. So I'm just adding red and I like how the little bits of white are peeking through where the modeling paste is. And I know at some point I'm going to add to that. Flipping through, here's some scroll work. I added that. I could add this onto the vintage page. Sometimes you have little bits and they don't seem to fit anywhere. And that's fine. Put them in your stash and wait for another day. Maybe another time you'll be inspired. Some days you're going to grab and flip through and you're not going to feel it. So I'm just heating this up so I remove the tape, giving this a good dry, and I decide that I'm going to take this tissue paper and just break a brand new page. Now this one is gessoed, and I love how the white of the scroll work just shows off. I'm going to break this into three. Three is a good number. Odd numbers always look great on the page. I'm just using my fluid matte medium. Now just a reminder that this video was taped in several different episodes, several different times. When I had leftover paint, when I had a several items that needed to be used up. That's when I grabbed the book and saw, you know, where could I add it? So we're just adding that and either I could just set the book aside or dry it with a heat tool if I so wish. So back to finishing this page. Now that it's completely dry, I'm just cutting that off and then I'm going to audition it on the page. So I like this one. The teal goes well and I like the red behind it. That one doesn't seem to go. I still like the vintage, but this one really seems like it is a perfect, perfect match. It's like the background was created for it. We've got the round stenciling. We've got the stars that look like the snowflakes on the ball. So I'm just going to glue that down right here. How quick and easy was that? This page just evolved just by adding little bits here and there, and it was the perfect one for this focal image. 
So once that's dry, I reach for my sentiment packs. Now I keep each of my sentiment packs, the leftovers, the printed stuff, the trials and the mistakes as I'm creating the sentiment packs, I keep them in these plastic pouches. This is part of my stash. So for the purpose of this journal, I don't want to print new sentiments. I want to use things in my stash. We're using the discarded or the leftovers. So I've, I've I gone through, flipped through, picked out a couple about magic, and I'm just auditioning them. Whatever I don't use goes back in that plastic pouch and is saved for another day. Here I am bubble cutting around it, which is where what I call just basically getting rid of most of the white, but leaving a bubble of white around it to offset it. So in a very short time, we are going to have one art journal page done. Now this page is single. This one I did not glue two pages together. Remember I, re I said I wasn't going to do that and then I found that they were very flimsy. And it's especially hard to edge the single sheet at this stage because it's just so flimsy and thin. So I'm glad that I made my decision to glue them together. Now, if you're looking for the other videos in this series, there is a playlist called The Accidental Art Journal. All the episodes will be there. So you can go back to the beginning and see all these pages evolve as they go. And while I'm attempting to get most of it on this camera, sometimes there's little bits that just happen and they're done off camera. Now, as I'm flipping through and auditioning this one, I'm thinking, what else could I add to this? What else could I add to it? Every time you flip through it, you're getting ideas and you may know, oh, this one needs white, or this one needs green, or this one needs some gesso. This is another day I have some Prussian blue, so I grab this Fantangle stencil, and I'm adding the dark Prussian blue here. It's adding a great deal of contrast. Remember, you always want to have some contrast on the page, black, white, a darker color or, or a lighter color, depending on what you have there. I, I like, again, you'll see me, I'm doing three places. I'm going to give this a dry and I'm going to flip through and see if there's any other pages. Now I'm keeping track on the back, what stencils I use, if I like an idea, I'm even writing there if when I'm flipping through it to addition something else, I come up with an idea. Here I'm just going to add some Prussian blue splatters. There's blue in the background, so I'm thinking, oh, that's a little bit. This one's almost ready to be finished. I don't know what I want to add to it. When I just figure that out, that's when this page will get done. So another day I did some copper stars and I had leftover modeling paste and a dirty stencil. So that's what I'm using up here. I'm using the leftover parts on here. I like the copper color. It goes with that kind of burnt sienna, burgundy-ish background. And it's going to add some texture to this page. But mainly I picked it because the colors went together. Now here's another page and I had used some leftover modeling paste with this poinsettia stencil. Recently I did a poinsettia art journal page and this was leftovers. Now you may choose not to put seasonal things in this art journal because of course I don't want to be doing a poinsettia art journal page in the middle of summer, right? You're not going to want to do a winter one in the middle of summer, although you can do it any time. But that's a decision you can make. But I put the modeling paste here, and I knew that I wanted some gesso to paint it out before I painted it the color. So 
So here I'm mixing orange and red and just painting over. And I want that texture from the texture paste to show through. Why did I put gesso underneath? Because that gave a good base for the paint. Now, how do you know when to finish an art journal page? When you're inspired to do so. When you're flipping and you know what you want to do on that page, that's when you can do it. Here I'm taking this Neo... can't remember. I'll put the, the names of the stencil in the, in the bottom. And I'm stenciling through. I removed paint through the stencil and then I stenciled through it just to add a little bit more texture in the background. Geonetting. That's what it's called. Geonetting. So I have the point set of stencil and I'm putting it back in place. Now another thing that this journal is all about is trying new things. I wanted to try gold on top of the red here to bring on the highlights, on the raised places with the modeling paste. And while it's okay, it's not exactly as stunning as what I wanted it to be. Remember, this is a place you're testing out your theories, trying new techniques. I have the Retroburst stencil on my desk. So I grabbed it and I'm putting some, introducing some red into the background. Now when you're finishing an art journal page, you may not be using discarded stuff anymore. You're not waiting till you have that red. You're deliberately choosing to finish the page. Now with regard to the stencils, when I'm using stencils on here, for the most part, aside from the poinsettia one, I'm using what is hanging out on my desk. I'm going to make that work. That's going to, might give me different combinations and a slightly different look. And I may discover something that I want to keep or want to do on purpose on a real, quote unquote, art journal page. And that's what I'm writing on the back as well. I really like how this works or use this stencil and this stencil together. They really complement each other. So help yourself out and give yourself these notes. So I'm putting this stencil back on. I want to add to the focal image, but I don't want more red. So I'm choosing to stencil the other points at it with black. It's going to give contrast. It's going to just give a different look. I do put some over here. I'm not sure if I wipe. I think I do get take a baby wipe. Yeah, there I go and get rid of it. Not every decision you make is going to be a good one. Then I decide to add some more black in the background. And I kind of wish I hadn't done that. I really liked it beforehand. But live and learn. Here, I'm really embracing the traditional Christmas colors. Now for the sentiment, I grab this metal sign and I'm using it as a template. I'm tracing around it with my white Bosca pen. Remember also part of using the discarded is using those things that we haven't used a lot things that may have gotten fallen by the wayside and aren't getting used. I thicken up the line work thinking that will make the word piece stand out. It doesn't as much as I'd like. So I'm adding a wash of the green paint, just darkening it just to make that word stand out more. And I like that part. I, that really worked well. If you don't have a metal template, you can cut out a word. You can print a word with the big font and then cut it out and use that as a tracer. There's lots of ways of doing the same thing. A 
And you can see how I darkened it. And then a splatter of white. And we have the second art journal page is done. Now, is it my favorite? No, but that's okay. I had fun and any day creating is a great day. Remove the tape. Now I did some Christmas tags with some napkins and I had these squares and I thought, okay, I'm just going to glue them down on a page, break another page, just layer it up. This is going to give texture to this page. Now you can see some of the images are showing through. Don't worry, I will be, and I think it's on camera on film here, adding a coat of white gesso to it. And you won't see that. And even if you did, it just adds interest. So this is just simply adding texture to the page. Here's the penguin head. So here I go, I think it was another day, I had some white gesso and I just added it on top, just knocking back some of that, those images. Let me know if you have created your own accidental art journal. Now this is leftover napkin. And it was sitting on my desk and I noticed I had this gel print and then some stencil butters that I had stamped on tissue paper and was sitting there. And I thought, oh, they all go together. So I'm going to glue them down and start a background for another page. They didn't really go with any of the other pages. So I'm adding it. This is going to add texture as well as color. It really set the color scheme. And I must say this turquoise teal color with this yellow green, lime green. I love this color combination. So that's what I'm writing in the back. I will do that on purpose. It is a winning color scheme. I don't like straight edges, so I'm just getting rid of them, just ripping them and using those bits. You know those plastic envelopes that I had my sentiments in? I've got plastic envelopes of all the colors as well, of little bits of gel prints. So one of these days I'm just going to bring them out and we're going to use a lot of them. Use that up. Because when you combine them, like you do here, three different collage papers, the napkin, the tissue, and the gel print, and you get a great page. And there's something just so zen-like about just gluing things down. I'm leaving some white space on here. The tissue goes translucent, so it disappears, but you have this wonderful layered, textured look. So this was the uh, dots there. I had stencil butters and I stamped it on. I had leftovers and I grabbed the stamp and I just used up the leftovers. It was too good to throw away. But saving all these little bits isn't the purpose. You want to save them so you can use them. And so this accidental art journal is perfect. So I have all these, I have more bits here to use up. Once this is dry, I'm cutting off the excess and we've broken another page and actually it's well on its way of being developed.
I love, love, love this page, the colors. So I'm looking for another gessoed page. I don't have one, so I do go back and I gesso some of those pages so I can add to it. Thinking I want to use up some of this lime green. I don't want to have to put this little bits away. That would work on there, but I'm not feeling it. Oh, that might work. Yes, let's add it to this page. So you can tell yourself, as soon as you get three, five pieces of something left over on the side, you need to open up your accidental art journal and add it to a page. Here's another combination that I really, really like. This yellow and this bright aqua. Still some of that tissue paper done, so I had gessoed another page to prep it and because I just wanted to knock back the lines a little bit more. And I'm just adding some of this to this page. I don't want to have three pages that are identical using the same gel prints and so you want to build in some variation and I move to a later part in the book too because I don't want the same color scheme right after the same color scheme as much as possible. There's a little bit of burnt sienna peeking through that was on that napkin and I might add that burnt sienna color to this green. I'm thinking that might be a good addition. So right away we are going to recap what we've done during this episode of the Accidental Art Journal. So we've added a couple things to this page. So this is coming along really nicely. We've added color to this one. And we've added some modeling paste to this one. So we've got some texture. Texture color pattern. Then we have just added tissue paper for texture to this page. We glued together a bunch of collage papers. This one just has napkins. This one had some of that tissue paper. And then we finished the two pages.